Hi, welcome back to our channel. We're Guiding Elements Medical Center and I'm Dr. Christy. Today's video is part of my Everyday Healer series, which is a compilation of talks, videos, interviews, and other educational resources to help empower the everyday person, teach them, educate, and provide resources to help them become their first line of defense for themselves and for their communities, as well as empower them and bring out that hidden intuitive healer within every single person. Today's video specifically will be making an activated charcoal foot pack. You can use it in other parts of your body, but today's example will be doing on the feet. So activated charcoal uh, definitely has lots of benefits that we'll get into, but first let's go ahead and cover the basics. Please be sure to smash that like button for today's video, subscribe and share this video to anybody you think who would benefit from it. Also, my medical diligence. I have to say this video and its contents are not a substitute for medical advice. This is not me telling you, yes, girlfriend, this is exactly what you need to do for your medical situation. No, I don't know what's going on. You're seeing me out in, you know, internet land. So please be sure to speak to your healthcare provider about your specific medical issues before undertaking any sort of program or regimen. With that being said, this is some free education. So may as well watch. All right. So let's get into some of the details here. Why use activated charcoal? Well, it has a ton of amazing benefits. You may remember that recent craze with the activated charcoal masks and the activated charcoal toothpaste. They made all kinds of claims about things like, you know, helping with blemishes, reducing pore size, taking out and drawing the, um, the oils, the dirt, all these different toxins, whitening teeth. You may also remember the YouTube videos and TikToks that followed. People screaming in pain, trying to take off the charcoal mask, having crazy red chemical burned faces, um, you know, all sorts of awful things. So that is not because of the activated charcoal. Let's put that straight. It's because of all the other chemicals and garbage they mixed into the product. So charcoal by itself is very safe, just like the other two ingredients that we'll be putting into this charcoal pack. Total of three simple and safe ingredients. All right, so what are the different things that you can use this foot pack for? Well, it does charcoal as a whole. It can help draw out toxins. So what kind of toxins, what does that mean? So those are things like the toxins that bacterial and viral infections can release or produce that create our symptoms like nausea, vomiting, um, diarrhea, you know, food poisoning, that sort of stuff. Also, it can be toxins that we produce. So a lot of people um, do like to do detox cleanses and they usually have some form of charcoal in some of the supplements or other products. Uh, yes, it can help to detox heavy metals, pesticides, our own toxins. However, not the really deep stuff that's like lodged in our bones or in deep tissues. That would require a medically supervised detox program. This is more for the acute illness, or for some of the more superficial toxins in your body. All right, now at the same time, this can also be used topically to help bring boils to a head. Um, it can calm down inflammation if somebody has, say, uh, skin issues like eczema. In some cases, it can help the itching, the redness, all that sort of stuff. Again, not every case, but for some people, it can be very helpful. That being said, there are times where I have seen people use this for minor burns. If you are burned, again, please see your medical professional to make sure that it's nothing serious and that this would be safe to do. It is a good thing to have around for first aid, just in case. <clears throat> now let's go over the ingredients. 
Again, three simple ingredients. We have the first ingredient we'll talk about is the activated charcoal itself. I have capsules here. It does come in loose powder. There are pros and cons to each. I can kind of touch on that a little bit later. I'm going to be using castor oil for my foot packs. Now some people do like to use water, which is fine. The only thing there is that when you mix water with dry ingredients, it will dry out, right? Water evaporates. The longer it sits, the more paste and cakey it gets, the less effective it can be with time. So you do have to watch out when you're using water just for that reason. You can use other oils. Doesn't have to be castor oil, but I like castor oil because it also has healing benefits like uh, reducing inflammation, soreness, aching, you know, redness, say on a joint. Uh, also, it can help draw out or facilitate drawing out of toxins. So I like to combine these two. It also helps keep the foot pack or the activated charcoal pack moist for longer. And then the final ingredient we're gonna mix in is psyllium husk, which is a little powder. And a little bit goes a long way, just like with the charcoal. You don't need overkill and to put in tons and tons of this stuff for it to work. Very easy to use. Now in terms of tools, you need paper towel, some sort of cling wrap, saran wrap, plastic wrap, then a non-metal mixing tools. So you can have uh, wooden spoons, glass spoons, ceramic or even plastic ones. For your bowl, again, non-metal. So I'm using these little glass bowls in this instance. It doesn't have to be a glass bowl. It can be plastic or wood, ceramic, again, just not metal. The reason is because the activated charcoal, it's pretty potent and it will actually interact with the metal, which we don't want. All right. So um, finally, sometimes I will have a little damp cloth in case I get the charcoal on my hands so my fingers don't turn black or get a mess everywhere. All right, so let's go ahead and get into actually making the pack today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up some of the capsules I have into the oil. So in this recipe, which will be in the description below, I am going to use two tablespoons of castor oil. So we'll put that in first. You can eyeball it, doesn't have to be perfect. I usually just estimate, because I do this a lot. <laughs> and then to that, for today's demonstration, I'm only going to be doing one uh, capsule content for the castor oil. I'm sorry, I'm only gonna be doing one capsule of the charcoal. And the reason is a little bit goes a long way. Some people do like to put a bunch in there, that's okay, but this is one of those cases where doing a little bit less is still gonna work. Doing more is not always more effective. Now, in this case, also, I have capsules because I use activated charcoal medicinally internally. Is it safe to do that? If you do it correctly, yes. This video today is only for topical uses of the activated charcoal. So I've got the contents of my one capsule here. If you have the loose powder, you can use anywhere from half a teaspoon up to a teaspoon and a half. Now I'm gonna add my psyllium husk. In this case, since it's psyllium husk, it's safe to use a metal spoon. I am using half a teaspoon. The reason I'm adding psyllium husk, I used to do this without adding psyllium husk at all, just the castor oil and the charcoal. But what I found was it makes a crazy hot oily mess. It goes everywhere, even with the paper towel. So adding psyllium husk binds it really nicely and it makes it into almost like a gel, like halfway between a gel and a paste. Of course, the more psyllium husk you add, the thicker that's going to be.
We'll give this a quick little mix here, just until it's well incorporated. Okay. Let me show you the difference. So this is with half a teaspoon. I'm going to put this paper here so you can see how kind of runny it is, okay? See how runny that is? Versus this one has a tablespoon of psyllium husk. And you can see that's just like a chunky paste. It does still have some oiliness to it, but it's definitely thicker than this guy. So I personally, for the purpose of this pack, don't use more than a single tablespoon because I don't want the psyllium husk to dry it out so much that we're not having a good effect. If this is too runny for your liking, just add a little bit more. This is only half a teaspoon. Perfectly fine to add a little more. All right, so now that we've got those two, that's pretty much the gist of how you make the actual mixture. So now we're gonna move on to how to make the pack itself. So you take your little plastic wrap here you're going to want to lay this down first because the castor oil and the charcoal will seep through fabric and seep through, um, in this case, the paper towel. So we're doing this to save the mess of cleanup. And also, we can use the plastic wrap. So let me just get this guy here. All right. So I use these packs often on the feet for my toddler. He's two and a half and can't swallow capsules, but also getting him to eat loose powder is really hard, even trying to sneak it into his food. So instead I do this because for example, a month ago he got that stomach bug going around, he was vomiting and had really loose poops, all that sort of stuff. Since he couldn't take anything orally and couldn't keep food down, I did this. I did three treatments a day for a half an hour each. Did it for two days, cleared right up. Actually, after the first foot pack, he stopped vomiting and the diarrhea cleared up by the third or fourth one, I can't remember, but pretty quickly. So with the paper towel, he's a toddler. He has small feet. I know that if I take a paper towel this size, the ball of his foot will be here and the heel will fit down here. So that's the size I'm gonna use for him. Now this is folded in half, I'll show you in a minute why, versus if I'm doing it on myself, <laughs> sorry about that, if I'm doing this on myself, then my foot is bigger, so I will use a larger size paper towel and again, we're gonna be folding it in half. All right. We're folding this in half. That's the size we're going to end up with. So what I do is I take the mixture. All you need is a thin layer in the middle and you're just going to spread it around to approximately the size of the sole of the foot. Okay, so you don't need a whole lot. Just start with a little bit if you're not sure and then you can just kind of spread it out. Just like that. And then fold this in half. So you can see the back side, it's already seeping through really well. That's about the size of my foot. I have a six and a half women's shoe. And that's all I need for the size of my foot. So you can see it's really nice and saturated. So Put my foot on there, cover this up. If you want to do this with the toes, you can. Okay, just like that. Cover this guy up, wrap it around the back. Now, since I have a small foot, that's enough to go up my heel. But if you have somebody with a larger foot, cut another piece of the saran wrap so that you can put it from here, underneath, and then back up the heel, up the heel and around here. So it's nice and covered. Put some socks on. Now that it's done, pretty easy to take off. 
you just take all this off here and pull it off like a slipper, just like that. If it's black, wipes off pretty well. You can see in the center where I was wiping it. For me, that's about as much as I clean it, and then I'll put a sock on so that I can absorb the rest of it. You don't necessarily have to do that. If you really don't like the mess, I'll leave a little recipe for a baking soda wash that you can use to clean off. All right, so now that you've done and seen all of that, if you have any comments or questions, please enter those below. If there's a topic you would love to learn more about, please let me know. I would love to help you out. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, and share. We'd love to see you back here again. And of course, I hope you'll join me for the next video in the Everyday Healer series. Take care.